In this video, I will show you how to set up a Miltronics Hydro Ranger 200 ultrasonic level controller. If your system will use one transducer, you will record and use these measurements. If your system will use two transducers, you will record and use these measurements. When plugged in, the unit will power up in run mode. To change this, press the program button on the handheld programmer. Next, press the Next Display Field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Enter 001 to edit the operation parameter. Press 4 on the number pad to select the dual point difference mode. Hit Enter to confirm the selection. The next parameter to edit is the empty depth point. Press the Next Display Field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Enter 006. Hit the Next Display Field button until the numbers in the top left corner are dashes. This number correlates to the transducer number and is called the index number. Use a number pad to enter a transducer number. Note that if a mistake is made in selecting this number, it can be cleared by pressing the Clear button. Once a transducer is selected, use the number pad on the handheld programmer to enter a value then hit the enter button to confirm your selection. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Use the number pad to enter 007 to edit the span set point. Press the next display field button again until the index number is all dashes. Like the empty depth set point, this number correlates to the transducer number. Once the transducer is selected by using the number pad, Use the number pad again to enter a value for the parameter and hit enter to confirm your selection. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Enter 070 to edit the failsafe timer parameter option. Enter a value using the number pad and press enter to confirm your selection. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Enter 071 to select the failsafe material level parameter. Use the next display field button until the index number is all dashes. Select the transducer you want to edit by using the number pad. Now press the function button and then the up and down arrows to toggle between high, low, and hold. Press enter to confirm your selection. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Enter 111 to select the relay control function parameter. The index number correlates to the relay number. To edit this number, press the next display field key until the index number is all dashes. Enter the relay number you want to change by using the number pad. The number 1 on the number pad is pressed to select the value for the parameter. A circle will now appear at the bottom of the screen. If the circle is filled, it means the relay is tripped. If the circle is not filled, it means the relay is not tripped. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Enter 112 to change the relay on set point. Press the next display field key until the index number is all dashes. The index number correlates to the relay number. Once a relay number is selected, use the number pad to select the value for the parameter. The other values for the relay can be set similarly by changing the index value by using the next display field key. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is displayed. Enter 113 to change the relay off set point. Press the next display field key until the index number is all dashes. The index number correlates to the relay number. Once a relay number is entered, use the number pad to select a value for the parameter. The other values for the relays can be set similarly by changing the index value using the next display field key. If your unit will use analog outputs in replace of or in combination with relays, you may require more setup. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is shown in the center of the screen. 
Enter 200 to edit the output range parameter. Use the next display field button to navigate to the index. The index denotes which transducer output is being edited. The parameter value is a single digit code that corresponds to a given range. Press the next display field button until the index is blank. Enter the number of the transducer whose output you'd like to change and the parameter value you'd like to assign. Hit enter to confirm. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 is shown. Change this to 201 to edit the output function parameter. The index is responsible for choosing which analog output is being edited. The parameter value is used to change which function will be used to calculate the output value. Press the next display field button until the index is blank. Then type which output you would like to edit. Next, enter the code that corresponds to the function you would like to output. Hit the enter key to confirm changes. When you're satisfied with the output function parameter, press the next display field button until p dash 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 is shown. Change this to 202 to edit the output allocation parameter. Press the next display button until the index is blank. Type 01 to choose the first analog input. Then type the value 1 to set data point number 1 as the first analog input. Hit enter. Then hit the next display field button and type 02 to edit the second analog input. Type 2 to set point number 2 as the second input. Press enter to confirm the change. Press the next display field button until P dash 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 appears in the center of your screen. Enter 219 to edit the analog output failsafe parameter. Press the next display field button until the index is blank. Enter 01 to edit the transducer 1 failsafe. Press the function button and then press the up or down arrows until high appears on the screen. Press enter. Press the next display field button once, then type 02 to edit the transducer 2 failsafe. Press function, then press the up or down arrows until low appears on the screen. Press enter to confirm the change. Once all parameters are changed to the desired values, press the program button to return to run mode.